everyone, today I am doing a full face of foundation. This is a full coverage look. This isn't something I would personally do on an everyday basis, but if you want to, you go ahead and you rock it. I am doing contouring, highlighting, blush, foundation. This is the work. So if you want to know how to get a flawless face, just keep watching. All right, let's get this party started. So first off, I am starting with a clean face. I wash my face with a normal to oily cleanser, and then I put on the daytime face lotion. I am starting with Make Sense Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer. This is a primer. I'm just taking a full pump and working that into my face, starting with the center and working my way out. The center is where I have the largest pores, so that's where I want most of it to be. This just gives your foundation a really nice base to sit on. It makes it nice and smooth, covers up any of your pores, so it just sits really nicely. Then I am taking my Make Sense foundation. This is the color Cream Beige. I am gonna take a full pump on my Morphe M439, which is my favorite brush ever, 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 especially to apply foundation. Taking a full pump here, and then I am just going to dab this onto my face just to kind of evenly distribute it and then buff it in. What I love about this foundation is that it's so easy to apply and it's also really buildable. So if you like more of a sheer look, which I think that this is pretty medium to full coverage with just one layer, but if you want a little bit more, you can go back over it and apply another layer and it just sits really nicely on top of it. It doesn't look cakey or thick, it just looks really natural and really pretty no matter how much you apply. It's just really, really gorgeous. So I'm just continuing to buff this in. Make sure you don't forget to get your ears. That's a big part. You want to make sure that it's completely blended all over your entire face. And as you can see, I'm just going back over areas where I need a little bit more coverage around my nose, sides of my nostrils, blending it down onto my chin and neck. As I said earlier, get your ears. Make sure that that is blended so you don't have an awkward line. And then again, just down the neck, making sure it's evenly distributed and nice and blended. Okay, then I am taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the color 15, which is fair. I am just taking that and putting it under my eyes because that is where I need to conceal my dark circles and making a scary face because I have war paint on. Then I'm taking my very damp beauty blender, which I have wrung out with a paper towel, and I'm just dabbing and pressing that in under my eyes, just making sure to cover up and make kind of a triangle shape so it traces along the top of my cheekbones, but I don't really want to bring it down any further than that and along the sides of my nose. I'm bringing it a little bit onto my brow bone just because I get darkness on my eyelid, especially under my eyebrow. So I just wanna make sure that that is nice and concealed and then doing the same to the other side. Okay, now I am taking my Makeup Forever HD setting powder. This is just the clear translucent one. I'm gonna take that same damp beauty blender. I'm gonna press that in and getting a ton out I'm just gonna distribute that and set that concealer. You wanna always make sure that you're setting your concealer because if you keep it wet under your eye, that will crease and settle into your um, wrinkles under your eyes and it'll just make you look really old and cakey. Okay, then I am taking my Shadow Sense in Mocha Java and my Morphe M523. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that onto my hand and blend it in and then I'm gonna pick it up and I am going to contour with it. This is a cream to powder contour, so you don't have to set it. That is one of the awesome, awesome things about the Shadow Sense eyeshadow is it will set on its own. You don't have to do a cream and then a powder. So it just makes it easy, it saves you some time, cuts down a step. So I am just chiseling out my cheekbones. Um, you just want to go where a shadow would naturally appear. You can pucker like I'm doing so that you can see where your face would be sunken in at. And this is just really going to chisel your face and make it look a lot slimmer, a lot younger, a lot healthier. It'll make your cheeks look plumper. It's just, it's good. It'll make your face look good. <laughs> I'm just taking it up onto my forehead where the sun would naturally touch just so it doesn't look super weird, so it looks blended and natural. A little bit under my neck, onto my chin, just to conceal. I do have a little extra baby weight right now, so 
Okay, then I am taking Shadow Sense. This is in the color Pink Posy. I'm gonna put it onto my hand and then taking my Morphe E4, I'm just gonna dab and buff and press this into the bristles just so that the brush is nice and evenly coated. And then I am going to use this for my blush. This is my new favorite blush color. It's so flattering, it's so pretty, it's gorgeous on so many skin tones. I love it. So as you can see, I'm just starting on the apples of my cheeks and working my way back. This is the most flattering way to apply your blush. You don't wanna to go too close into your nose because it can really make your face wide and flat, which you really don't want. You want it to be plump, right? <laughs> so as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing to the other side, applying it to the apples on my cheeks and swiping back, making sure you blend, 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 blend so that there's no harsh lines. Okay, now we are taking the natural translucent powder. This is by Cynogens also. I'm just unscrewing the top um, because I am going to bake. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush, which you guys know, I don't know why they call this a blush brush. I think it's tiny. Dabbing it in, and then I'm just gonna take and chisel and perfect that line where we did our contour. Sometimes it can get kind of messy as you blend. So I'm just gonna really go in and carve that out so that it's nice and neat. And then I will leave it on for a few minutes just so it can really set in and lock in and look really nice. Doing the same thing to the other side. And then I'm also taking it onto my chin, the center of my nose, and the center of my forehead, really just tracing out that T-zone. This is where I get the most oily, and so I'm just setting that with the translucent powder. Okay, now I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. You can see these colors are very well loved. <laughs> I am taking the middle color, which is banana powder. It's a yellow powder, it cancels out blue tones, and the lighter color, and I'm just gonna go back over my under eyes. Um, I have a hard time with dark circles. I have a baby, so I don't get a ton of sleep. So I really just like to counteract that. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of it and go back into my T-zone just so it looks natural and my eyes aren't super white. I'm taking my highlighter. You guys know how much I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlighter Skin Frost in Ice Cold. And just taking that on my Morphe M501 and sweeping that on the top of my cheekbones, going down the center of the nose, on the cupid's bow of my upper lip under my brow bones, the center insides of my eyes. I love this stuff. I take it everywhere. <laughs> I put it everywhere. I like to be bronzed and glistening to the high heavens. Okay, now I am going to take just a big fluffy blending brush. This is by Eco Tools, and I'm just gonna sweep off that translucent powder that we had there sitting and baking. And as you can see, it just really contours out the face. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and be right back. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them for me down in the comments below. I will have all the information in the description box, including all the products I use. If you want to know the lip sets that I'm wearing today, um, if you want to know where to purchase any of these products, everything will be down in the description box below. I also get asked a lot about um, who's done my permanent eyebrows and who does my hair, and I will put links to them in the description below. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye. Testing. Ground control to major time. Commencing countdown. Engines on. You do you, boo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't sassy me, but Take your protein pills and put your spacesuit on.